and I you so much. Welcome to today's tutorial and I still remain your show making made it easy to tell. How to really much of a like, guess what? Today we're going to be working on this padded wedding heel, you know, for women. Yes, yeah, so I want you to sit with me because I'm going to be putting you through on how I was able to pad our, how I last and then how I created my insole and how I was able to attach my heels. So if you were just watching my channel for the first time, please, can you please subscribe to my channel like this video please do me a favor of liking this video each time you like my video you give other people also the opportunity to be able to see this video please if this is has been a blessing to you or you're just coming across us for the first time trust me you are actually at the right place during this christmas you should be able to grace your first two now if you're just subscribing to my channel today i want you to know that you've got a bonus of joining my november weekend shoe making class yes so if you subscribe today just let me know i just subscribe i hope you know i have a way of actually knowing whether you just subscribe today so don't just come telling me oh i just subscribe today i would definitely know all right i'm gonna see you in class sit back and i'm gonna be right away. all right the first thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be taking all the necessary measurements right here so i'm going to be using my heel last this is actually a wooden heel last of course i advertised this and i had some people made some order i still have a few left just let me know in the comment section if you are interested in the heel please the way bill is three thousand naira wherever you want me to send to in nigeria please i need you to know that i am in abuja nigeria feel free to pick it up feel free to send somebody to pick it up it's not free delivery because i've seen a lot of people ask me questions such as uh -uh, how much is the show last three thousand five hundred how can you ask me to pay three thousand naira as way bill as if i'm going to fly to your location i cannot fly you so you can ask around your location and buy if you can find it but if not if you see it as a need please get one christmas is coming all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be having like three centimeter down here or 2.5 if you are working an inch you can use one inch right under here as your lesson which is going to be your lesson allowance so from what i have here i am going to bring this down here this is 15 at this point i'm going to add another extra three for my lesson and that's going to give me 18 centimeters so for this particular side i'm having 18 centimeter now for my padding don't forget we are actually creating a padded wedding heel so what are we going to do you are going to consider here now if you look at this place it stops at five this is five so let's count what we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so it means that my pad what i'm going to be using to pad it i'm going to make sure that it's just within here it doesn't go under because the height will not you know the thickness here will not allow your outer sole to lay perfectly well so my padding is not going to be extended to this particular you know under it's not extend it will also not extend to this point and also my tongue as well that in between it will not so that's why i counted one you know from five to six is one from six to seven will be two three four five six seven eight nine ten i would suggest that you don't allow it to reach this 15 which is 10 so maybe nine or nine and a half should be fine you understand that's what you're going to do here so your your pad is going to be having nine you're going to use 9.5 centimeter for your pad and on this other side of course i'm going to turn it i would love to work in centimeter for me it's easier if you find inches easier go ahead and also do the same thing just make sure you have one inch on there right there so this is going to come this way and i have it stopping at 16 right here so you are going to do the same counting this is actually stopping at around six here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten this is about ten although i would suggest that you still use your same 9.5 right there and then of course if it's going to be going on that we have like 18 or 19 obviously it looks like this side is longer than this this side seems to be longer but it's not so the best bet you can do is just make the two of them 18 and then this one can actually be 9.5 so you are going to make it you are going to make the the length of what you are using to pad it to just be 9.5 
five, you can use nine point five here and use nine a, knowing fully well that no matter what, this side cannot be longer than this other side, and the length is still going to be eighteen. It does not really matter. It's better if it's longer than if it is shorter. If you are still here watching this particular padded wedding heel, make sure you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. All we do is make sure making easy and simple for you. Now let's go to the in step part now if you don't know what an in step is this is the fullest part of your foot or your shoe last this side is called the ball guard please make sure you 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 have a note where you actually write new things you are learning from this channel don't just watch like a movie this isn't a movie it's a tutorial so you should have a note where you write so we have already done the measurement for that we're going to be coming to this side and then we are going to be doing the same thing. We are still going to be having three extra there. And this is going to be coming. You can see stop at 21. 21 minus 3. I think that will give us, this is 21, 1, 2, 3. That's 18. So it means whatever I'm going to be using here, the length of the padded part should be about 18 centimeter long. So that is 18 centimeter long. Why, of course... I'm going to go down by three. This is going to be about 24. So the length of that instep part is going to be 24 centimeters. Now, don't forget, I'm working with a size 33 heel shoe last. So basically, these are the measurements I need for this. I mean the length. Now, when you consider the width is your choice, you know, as regards what width you want to use. For the sake of this tutorial, I am going to be using one centimeter as the width of my pad. What, I, what I'm going to be using to pad it, I'm going to be using one centimeter for this, you know, tongue part, this flip-flop part. And I'm going to be using 1.5 centimeter for this instep part. I want it to be a bit wider. So with this i believe you already know how to take your major measurement now if you don't have a shoe last and you still want to do this for yourself at home go ahead and follow the same process using your feet to take all the measurements that i've just taken you can decide to increase the width you can decide to use the same width that i use you can decide to reduce it as well so let's go right into all of the cutting process and what material we're going to be using to pad our beautiful wedding here so all you need to do after cutting your EVA foam, don't forget mine is a 4 millimeter thick. So I am going to make sure that whatever kind of leather I'm going to be using to wrap around it has to be double the side, double the width. This width is about 1 centimeter, which means the double the width will be 2 centimeter. Now considering this thickness also, considering this thickness also, I'm going to be using 3 centimeter as the width of my strap. Don't forget that we are using the same length which we measured the other time. Why our EVA foam, which is going to be as our, you know, pad, what we're going to be using to pad that particular, you know, um, heel is going to be here this way so just you can drag it all around it just to have part of it you know having the gum also do the same thing for the second one so that it can stick perfectly well or you apply your contact cement and adhesive on it like that so after that allow it to dry and we are going to wrap it all over it so this is dry this is the part i apply the contact cement adhesive i'm going to place it on it don't forget that your contact cement adhesive is also supposed to be on top of your eva foam so i am also going to apply it on top of it so that at least by the time i'm wrapping it over it it will stay perfectly well so you don't really need much of that just apply this way apply on the edge as well by the edges too Then you allow that also to dry before you finally wrap it all around it. Ensure you apply by the side too so that it can stick to the side. Although if you don't apply, if you apply on the surface properly, you may not be needing that because it's going to overlap it. But when it's also by the side, I think it's better. So allow that also to dry up. 
so let's go ahead and uh, fold now So now, while folding this, if you observe that it's wider, I'm going to suggest you trim straight down. Just a little trim. So, our strap is ready. Now, we're going to be making use of this already made insole. Of course, all of the templates I'm going to be using here is going to come with the insole if you are buying this particular heel insole from us. I call it shankless. You don't need to go through the process of using shank and um, sh uh, what they call it and your insole cardboard and a lot of shank board. So, with this, all you need to do is just go ahead and begin to wrap. So, the first thing I, I did was to cushion the front part with my eva4 which is about two millimeter now i am going to go ahead and then wrap all around now this wrapping process i know is one of the major challenges when it comes to creating footwell but i find out that if you take your time to pull gently you are going to be having a very beautiful you know wrap so Take your time to pull gently, just like you see me do. I intentionally wanted us to see all of this. Don't be in a hurry to form big, big white pleats. Pull it in and it will be looking perfectly okay. Now you can see what I have here. I'm just going to try to, you know, hammer that side down. Don't tell me you have not liked this video. Come on, go ahead and like this video. So let's go to the side. Now, of course, I did not have template for the side. I believe we should be able to cut a, a long strap for the side although the width should be three centimeter i use a width of three centimeter and then i just folded all around it's just like an usual and normal wrap so you can see what this actually look like just at least so for the last thing we are still going to follow the, the dimension of five now. centimeter on this side five centimeter here and 3.5 centimeter on this other side and then this is where i have my placement somewhere around here so what am i going to do i'm just going to go ahead and punch them so now that i've punched this i'm going to place this right here this is the um strap the tongue for our wedding eel don't forget we are creating a beautiful tongue wedding ring wedding heel not wedding ring oh, it's wedding heel so make sure it covers the first one you open place it on top raise it up a bit and then pick that side so i'm also going to just um punch all through to that point so we are just going to ensure that they are both facing themselves this way you can see that i have penciled that side so that it will be very easy for me to put them in into that place so I hope I use the right one at the right side. Let me check. It's not correct. So this one is supposed to be here and this is supposed to be here. So I'm going to insert it that way. Then pull it out. I think this is much. I just need a little back there, not too much. So if you want to stitch, you can decide to stitch this side if you want to stitch so that you know it can split this way if you don't want to stitch i believe you can actually glue this down and it will work effectively well as well so let's go i'm going to be using my shoe last i just got this wooden eel shoe last you can see how it perfectly fits my heel so don't forget we are creating a wedding heel yes so if you have a wedding this saturday and you are wondering what to put together to you know where guess what you have a design right here so this is what i have here so the next one is of course this part i am going to be placing this part and we are going to be positioning them all down before you know it our wedding heel is ready you can see the way is really dazzling and beautiful 
Of course, after last thing, we're going to go ahead and bottle it. I'm going to be using my PU gum, which is popularly called chemical gum or transparent so gum. So now Some that places. we are through with the bottle of course, I just heated it and then I placed this right down there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be screwing down. If you order our heel, we have the opening done already. So all you need to do is just pick up your screwdriver and then go ahead and then screw it down so you can see that it's not it's not um twisting or anything so with this i'm just going to go ahead and cut my socks lining like i said our shankless heel come with you know your socks lining pattern so you just use this to cut it and um, your cushion the one that is supposed to be here it comes with it now for our um, socks lining of course this is what i use for the sole it came with it also so i'm going to just extend it upward here for the socks lining so when you want to cut your socks lining just extend it so that it will be somewhere around here so let me quickly go ahead i've cut out that i'm just going to go ahead and apply gum then come and place it for us to see so i've applied my contour cement adhesive i'm going to arrange this right inside here now if you think it's too long you can try to actually reduce the length so this is what i have now this is my socks lining i'm going to be this is for this see where it is i just want to use this nude color to cool the whole shoe down cool it outrightly down you can see that this looks like it's a standing house i use my pinking shear for all of the edges so i'm also going to use it to reduce it right here and also do the same thing right here so remove that I'm going to apply my contact cement adhesive again now you can see that it perfectly sits inside it this is so lovely Wow all right these are they are dry now I'm going to arrange it gently right there so So if you notice my, you find out that my pad didn't get, you know, as close to this place as possible. You can see this also. So, but when you're working on your own, make sure you allow it to get close to this place. You can see what it's showing because of that here. You can see it. So ensure that it's close. You understand here eh? so that it will not um, in any way you know make the shape look funny but when it's on the feet it's definitely super beautiful so thank you so much for watching me today i still remain your shoe making made easy to tell oh do roly mojibola so i am expecting you to tell me in the coming session what the width of the flip flop part of our beautiful padded wedding heel is of course the first three answers you are going to be enjoying a free access to my november weekend class yeah
yes all right all right don't forget to also like this video please like this video subscribe and i'm gonna see you next time bye